Hi, I'm Siobhan Miller. I'm the founder of The Positive Birth Company. I'm a hypnobirthing teacher and also a mum of three boys. And I am on a mission to make hypnobirthing more accessible for everyone. And today I'm going to talk to you about why giving birth is like doing a massive poo. And there are two key reasons. The first is position, so the position you give birth in, and the second is your environment. So talking first about the position that you give birth in. When we see people on TV giving birth, um, usually it's dramatized, it's edited in such a way to keep us on the edge of our seats, but also it's largely fictitious and isn't a real true representation of what birth is like. So what we see on TV often is a person lying on their back to give birth. So we see this image over and over again. So we actually become conditioned to think that's the position that one would give birth in. So if you were to go into a hospital or a birthplace or, or a setting where you're gonna give birth, and especially if there was a bed in the room, you might think that's where I'm gonna give birth. I'm gonna lie on my back on the bed to push my baby out. But when you actually think about it and you work on instinct, that would never be a position that you would pick. And that's why I want you to think about doing a poo. If you had to go for an emergency poo, so you've pulled over, <laughs> it's a panic situation, you've pulled over on the side of the road, you've got out, you've run into the bushes, you found a spot, would you lie on your back to push that poo out? Would, would anyone think in that situation that might be a good position? No you would automatically squat. You would take a squat position because that's the best position to push a poo out. Think about little children when they haven't seen anyone squat to do a poo, but that's what they do. If they're toddling around, they've got a nappy on hopefully, they usually go to like a corner of a room or like behind the TV or wedge themselves down the back of the sofa and then they squat to go to the toilet. If you've seen a toddler go to the loo, you know this is true. If you haven't, then you probably think this is bizarre, but believe me, it's the case. They don't squat because they've seen their parents squat in the living room and do a poo, hopefully. They squat because it's instinct. And that's what I'm telling you to tap into. When it comes to giving birth, listen to your instinct. Squatting is a great position. If you're upright, you've got gravity on your side that will make your birth easier. Being inclined forwards rather than reclined helps your baby into the optimum position for birth. And having your legs open for obvious reasons enables your baby to be born, but also creating space in your pelvis. So not restricting your pelvis by lying on your back, but actually enabling it to open to its full potential. Again, will make birth easier. So try not to lie on your back. If you go into a room and you see a bed there, use that bed to support you in a good upright forward and open position. So perhaps you want to go on all fours on the bed, or you want to sit on a birth ball and lean over the side of a bed or stand at the end and hold on to the footrest. But think about what position you would use if you were gonna go for a poo, when you want to open your bowels, or you want to open your cervix and birth a baby. Work instinctively. The second reason why birth is like doing a poo is because of the environment. So let's think for a moment about when you go to a toilet, perhaps in your office, or um, in a public, public place, a restaurant, a bar, where there might be multiple cubicles and you go into a cubicle to go to the toilet, even if it's just for a wee, and you go into the quiet room, you sit down on the toilet and then you hear the door open and someone else has come into the bathroom, not into your cubicle, hopefully, just into the bathroom and it's silence. You probably feel a bit nervous, maybe you can't go for a wee even, you probably certainly don't want to do a poo because there'll be a big splashdown and you know that the person on the other side of the door is gonna hear you and that's just hugely embarrassing. Now, I mean, that's a whole lot of stuff to unpick separately, but ultimately we're very private about going to the toilet. We want to be unobserved, we want it to be quiet. I mean, a lot of people can't even go for a poo if they're at someone else's house. They can only go for a poo in their own house because that's where they feel most relaxed. So if you think about that and then you think about giving birth, if you're on a bed or in a hospital room and there's lots of strangers and the lights are on and everyone's looking at you, could you do a poo like that? The chances are you could not. So how does anyone expect you to give birth like that? To feel so inhibited and observed and it be bright and everyone's looking at you. If there's no chance that your bowel's gonna open and you're gonna be able to do a poo, there's very little chance that your cervix is gonna soften, dilate, and you're gonna be able to birth a baby. So think about how important the environment is. You want it to be a private, dark, you know, environment that enables you to relax and feel uninhibited. So 
Think about what you can do to change that environment. Ask people to leave the room, for example. You know, as minimal people as possible is gonna help. And then also watch my other video on how to set the scene using your five senses, because I'll go into exactly what you can do to transform your space. But really pay attention to your environment and always remember, could I do a poo like this? And if you couldn't, then make a change so that it's a better environment for you to birth a baby. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit subscribe and of course, give us a thumbs up and do check out all the other videos here on my channel. If you want to learn more about hypnobirthing, then please check out our hypnobirthing pack at www.thepositivebirthcompany.co.uk where you can also get yourself a free Positive Affirmations MP3. Thank you.